Good morning. Welcome to Studio Church. My name is Brian Sanders, and this is Word of the Day. So let's just talk about why we're here. I mean, why are we on this planet? What are we supposed to do? Why, are we, why do we have to live a law-abiding life and always follow the rules? Why can't we just do what we want? You know, it makes us feel good and forget about everybody else. Well, let's, let's take a look at that. And if we can easily figure that out by putting life in a Petri dish. Like a Petri dish is a small round container that uh, you put sugar or some sort of agar in there and bacteria and, and uh, other hosts can grow in there. And uh, they, as long as there's this agar or, or sugar in there, this sweetener, then the, the microorganisms, they continue to grow and, and flourish. But when the sweetener's gone, then those organisms die. You know, that's kind of like uh, our spiritual life can be like that too sometimes. Uh, as long as we have some sort of uh, sweetener or something, then then our spiritual life is good and it's solid. And, and we have this image that uh, what we're doing is correct and uh, we're moving forward. But if here's a good test. If you remove all of those influences that make you feel like that, then what do you have? Uh, do you continue to flourish? Does your spiritual life continue to grow? Or does it slowly fall into into the shadows, into the, the back door of your life and doesn't really matter that much anymore. Well, you know, there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that, that kind of talks about that, about how people affect us and how we affect people. So let's look at Matthew 5.19. It says this, it says, Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So, I, I guess you can blindly follow uh, uh, you know, and feed off of those fake worldly sweeteners right now and, and, and get nothing later on. I mean, or you can wait for the, for the absolute best sweetener that, that's in heaven and uh, we can, that will never go away. That will always be a part of our, our lives after we're gone from this place. So I guess let, let's, let's take a look at that in, in the next little while just to see if, are the artificial s sweeteners right? Uh, are, they, are they good for you or are they just temptations to get you to do other things and to think that those sweeteners are actually making us a better, a better pish, Christian and a, and a better person in our spiritual life or are they just clouding things over? Well, with those words, hope you have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you again.